responsive than a four-door. This is a pretty standard way to offset the stability a hardtop roof provides. The 200 comes with two drivetrains that operate on regular grade fuel. One is a 2.4 liter inline four-cylinder engine with variable valve timing and a timing chain for long-term operability. It's rated at 173 horsepower with 166 foot-pounds of torque. The test model came with a 3.6 liter Penstar V6 delivering 283 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. Both engines are tied to a six-speed automatic front-wheel drive transmission and deliver about the same fuel economy. But when we looked hard at features fit and finish is where the disappointment set in. The interior panels and dash come together very nicely but are not quite a luxury experience. A simple thing for front seat passengers, a lumbar control was conspicuous by its absence. We appreciate the functionality of the Uconnect, Chrysler's version of Bluetooth technology. The expected satellite radio, 40 gigabyte hard drive for data and music are not groundbreaking. What struck us is the lack of compatibility to app-based functions linked to mobile devices and or tablets. At one time, the Chrysler brand was considered a serious American nameplate in the luxury segment. But over the years, as the company struggled to survive and through various ownerships, that level of production has slipped away. We can only hope that the current management can find a way to bring back the panache and style to the brand. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.